everyone, and welcome to another episode of L Talks Art. For this week, I have a very special guest and one, an artist who is very near and dear to my heart. I think most of you probably know him. Uh, during his lifetime, he actually received little to any notoriety, but now he is one of the most famous artists in the world. Please welcome my dear friend, Vincent Van Gogh. It's Van Gogh. Oh. Okay, please welcome Vincent Van Gogh. Okay, how are you feeling today, Vincent? Yes, I'm very nice. My ear is a little sore, but I'm quite fine, thank you. So, before we delve into any questions, may I call you Vincent? Yes, you may call me Vincent. Um, may I call you Vinny? Can we get a little personal like that? No, you may not call me Vinny. Okay, no. Hard no on that. All right, cool. So, in your lifetime, you actually never sold a piece. In your whole life, you never sold an artwork, which I'm sure you are also very painfully aware of. But after your death, your sister-in-law actually sort of took over your career, and she's really credited with your success as an artist. How does that make you feel? She was a lovely woman. She had a great bosom. She could not cook for shit, but she was a good woman. She was a good woman. She was nice on the eyes. I recently visited the Modern Museum Museum of Modern Art here in New York. I always get that mixed up. And I saw probably your most famous art piece. Uh, do you want to take a wager as to which one it is? Oh, is it potato peelers? No, but try again. Is it irises? Uh, no, actually. Um, it's the one on your mug. This piece? This is what I'm known for? This is people come to see this shit? This shit? This is the shit you see? Yeah! Yeah, it's that one. Um, so actually, you know, since you had such a strong reaction to it, why don't you tell us the story of how that piece was created? You know why I painted this? The fucking bastard Gogan. The motherfucker I want to see. Stab him to this day. I would stab Gogan. Stab him just stab stab his Yeah, and that is and yeah, and then of course that that was the night that the whole thing happened. Do you like do you wanna tell us that you wanna tell us the story? How it happened? Gogan and I. We were uh, you know, fucking hanging out or whatever. And then he threatened to leave me was not okay with that. So I took out my knife and I threatened to stab him in the eye. And then I realized I was threatening my best friend, this man I cared about. And then I got scared. And then I left. And then, you know, this whole thing happened. Very sad. Well, that is certainly a very riveting story that you tell us. Um, you know, actually, I you know I offered you coffee, and I completely forgot to ask. Would you like any cream or any sugar in it? I can't believe I forgot to ask you that question. Oh no, no, thank you. I'm quite fine. I'm good, thank you. It needs a bit of stirring. Alright, well, I think that is a 
enough for today. Thank you all so much for joining me. And of course, thank you so much to all the wonderful guests. It's a pleasure talking to you, Mr. Van Gogh, Vincent. Um, you have a very beautiful face that I enjoy looking at. It's very nice. a present for you. Oh, you have a gift for me. Oh, that's so sweet. Thank you. That is so kind. You know, no one ever brings me gifts. It's always so appreciated when an artist, you know, gives me a little something. So I can't imagine what it is. Ha! Ah! ah, yes, that, that is very kind of you. You have a beautiful face. I just want to sculpt it and cover it and paint. Okay, I think that's that's enough for today. Uh, thank you for watching. As always, I am L. sure you need to you need to go to the hospital you need to get this reattached yeah I think you need both of them